Well, hello, boys and girls, friends, adults. I have to say that because now I've had several people. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, by the way. If you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. I've had several people call me creepy because I say hello, boys and girls in the beginning of it. Yeah. Like I'm actually talking to children only or something. I don't know how people that are celebrities do it that you just like they think that I'm a pedophile oh boy anyways I'm not <laughs> okay let's like I yeah I'm not kidding I am not kidding they actually think that I've had people come on in my during my show which you can watch three to five five days a week during weekdays, NHL Pearls of Wisdom show. Uh, we're doing awesome stuff there. I, I'm wearing a wig right now because I'm doing a dare where I got to wear a wig. I'm not wearing it for this. But you can go see it over there. It's pretty cool. And anyways, after this stick after the picks today, which I'm going to be doing for you right away here, the picks for 18th. 18th the picks for the 18th we're going to do that and then we're going to look at our picks for tonight and let me tell you so far during the playoffs we rocked it in the regular season up like 50 pearls or some of that while we're start they're starting to fade away a bit here oh wait maybe not colorado scored oh did they score again or are they show sure? okay no Sorry, we need Colorado in the over, and then it's not too bad. Actually, we're pretty good. We're about even if Colorado and the over comes comes through. But uh, let's look at our picks for tomorrow. And to, um, I was going to do my North prediction. If you like to see my other series predictions, look at the previous videos. Go to about... Uh, actually, just watch the whole thing. You'll see I do the series predictions in there, and you can see my series predictions and odds and stuff like that. I'll do my north tomorrow uh, because the site that I like to use it is down for some reason. It should be up tomorrow, so I'll do it tomorrow. Okay, everybody's all a flutter. Hit the subscribe now, right now. Trying to get to a thousand. Okay, hit it. There you go. Oh, yeah, buddy. Pearl of Wisdom dance for you, my friend. The goat. Off the wall hockey, the goat. He does this all day. Pearl of Wisdom dance. Avatar and Joey Serrano. Boom. I don't think anybody does it better than Joey Serrano. Really. Okay, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Calgary, Vancouver. The nothing game. I'm wondering if they're going to put Demko in net. It's saying Holtby. I don't know what I don't know what they're going to do here. Like they're playing for pride. Um, what did Calgary won the last one, didn't they? Or did Vancouver win? I think it was Calgary four one. Or was it Vancouver? I don't know. But I think Vancouver's going to win this one anyways. Especially if Demko's in net. They're at home. It's over. I think they got one more game after this yet. It's like a three-game series for no, for no reason whatsoever. Uh, a total... I'm going to go under six for no real reason besides... there's It's a nothing game, so they may not... I don't know. There's two ways of looking at games like this. It's a nothing game. So they may not, you know, go out and try all that hard. Uh, go into the most difficult spots to score. The other way you can look at it is they're going to be loose and wanting to pad their stats. So it's possible that either one could be true. But I'm going to lean the under... Uh, probably wouldn't actually bet it, but I'm giving you all the picks like I always do. So I'm going to give you the pick. 
want to lean the other. Pittsburgh versus the Islanders. And I made a mistake here with the Islanders, with Pittsburgh. Okay, in the regular season, before the regular season, I had Pittsburgh missing the playoffs. Why? Because they had Tristan Jari and DeSmith in net for one. And they had a pretty poor defense on paper, like CeCe and Matheson. And they, was it smoke and mirrors all during the regular season? They kept it in there. They kept it in there. And now the Islanders also, near the end of the season, uh, Barry Trott said, that he was using the last 10 games like a preseason. And they lost a lot of them. Well, I'll tell you what, they look great now. And I was afraid of that. That's why I should have took the Islanders. I should have known how many times did the Islanders beat me up. Make a long story short, with Varlamov in against Pittsburgh, I'm taking the Islanders again to win this game. And as far as total, I'm going to go under five and a half. Under five and a half. Tampa Bay versus Florida. And that's just basically Varlamov will be in. Pittsburgh have a different time scoring. The Islanders usually don't run up the score in the playoffs. So Tampa versus Florida. What a humdinger of a game last time. Um, I... God, tell me, please, that they're not going to go with Bobrovsky here. Like, fine, can we stop this already? Bobrovsky is possibly in. I I'm not going to go against it again. If Bobrovsky's in, I'm going Tampa Bay. I I'm tired of it. Like, when are you going to get it through your heads? Bobrovsky is not the best goaltender you have. Put the kid in. I was, look at that, I always forget his name. I, was, I always think that his last name is Sterling. Why? Why? I don't know. Come on, what is his name? It's driving me crazy here. Think about it, think about it. Spencer Knight. Why, why do I think Sterling, for the love of God? Spencer Knight. Put Spencer Knight in. I'll pick you. I want to pick you. Everything in my being wants Florida to win this. Picked them last time. It's, this is tough. I don't know what to do with this game. So you'll probably want to become a Patreon member because then I'll I'll probably have a, a, a aha moment tomorrow and go with Florida. But the thing is, Sam Bennett is not going to be playing in this game because he got he went out and did something really stupid. That was if you go check it out, Sam Bennett. That was uh, um, deserving of more than one game, actually. And I'm usually the guy that's like trying to tell it. Like, I usually am the worst for that. Like, I, I everybody gets mad at me because I'm like, ah, whatever. I thought Wilson was okay, what he did, you know. And uh, so I'm, I, I'm usually the lenient one is the word I'm looking for. But uh, they, he should have got more than that. You cannot go from 14 feet and smack somebody right in the back against the boards. But with that being said, I think it's less likely Florida can win this game now, and it might even slip away from them here. Uh, the total is at six. I don't like it. Vasilevsky really going to not stop pucks like that again? Tough game to cap. Under six and jeez, is there what's the spread? You're not getting anything on the spread. Tampa Bay. I I really don't know. I wouldn't bet it. I wouldn't bet it. Uh, Minnesota versus Vegas. This is the game I would bet. There's no way Vegas is losing twice against Minnesota. No way. They completely outplayed them. Uh I, they're having a bit of a problem of getting lots of shots and not being able to score. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that they don't have a true number one center. That's really the problem with Vegas. I said that in the beginning of the year, and I'll keep on saying it, that um, 
it's, it could be an issue. I, even though I picked them to win the cup this year, if they don't, it's because they don't have that true number one center. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, why do I say that? The center is the creativity of a line. They, the center is supposed to be the one that creates the scoring chances, is the one that controls the play in the offensive zone. If you don't have a true number one center, and they don't, um, you will end up oh, – uh, what was his name again, too? Uh, what's the guy that they have playing in the number one center? Chandler Stevenson is not a true number one center by a long shot. William Carlson's probably their real number one center, but I would not call him a true number one center. So that would be the problem, and that's why. So the wingers really have to create their own chances, and goaltenders can generally uh, look for the shot more often, and they end up taking a lot of shots and not scoring a lot of goals. However, that being said, There's ways around that. And uh, I think that uh, the coaching there in Vegas is fantastic. Minnesota themselves don't have really a true number one center. So I think they'll adjust things and they'll be fine here. They'll outplay Minnesota again and they'll win. And I'm taking them in regulation. And although I had over last time, and that was terrible. It was one nothing. I guess I'm going to go to the under here. Talbot's too hot, and Flurry's pretty hot too. So I'll go under Vegas in regulation. Okay, there's your picks. Uh, we're gonna we got a letter here. If you want to stick around, also if you'd like to subscribe and hit the bell. Helen, my fine Helen, she I got all the kinks out of her shoulders and back and stuff like that. So she's knitting up your pearls of wisdom necklaces, and uh, uh, she's doing a fine job. And we're going to send them off to you in the pearlocopter, bringing you uh, the uh, with uh, Melissa and Hernandez. I'm, I'm personally signing them myself. So you'll be getting those any day, all of you subscribers out there, those who haven't subscribed. I don't, I don't know who you would be, everybody. Probably should have subscribed already, but Sumar Danumu from Punjab. Excuse me if I didn't say that right. Sumar Danumu, Punumu, Punumu, Punumu from Punjab, India writes, Where do you think Jack Eichel is going to go in the offseason? Is he going to stay in Buffalo? Is he going to get traded? Who would he get traded to? All of those things like that. Thank you, Puna uh, uh, Sumar, for the letters. And everybody send their letters. Guido loves it every morning. He gets up. He just bounds right out of bed. He's pearl dancing all over the place. And let's go down to the mail room. And he takes his sack and he goes down to the mail room and fills it up with all the letters. And he comes back up. We pour it all over the letter table, and we all do the Perlo dance around it, Helen and everybody. And uh, we read your letters, and we select one. So, so I love your letters. And also comment in the comment section. I love that even just as much. Um, and tell me what you think about this. Now, I had a couple letters like this. I've had tons, so many letters asking me about Eichel and where he's going to go. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a series, and I just did one. You can check it out. In, uh, I think, well, it'll be just before this one. The first series of Eichel being traded to every team in the NHL. And I'm doing it off a of cap friendly, where I'm starting with the teams with the most cap space, and I'm working my way up. And the first two teams are the New Jersey Devils and the LA Kings. You can go check it out. So I thank you for your letters. Colorado just scored. Woo! Awesome. Uh, thank you for your letters. And uh, go check out that, that video. And you can find out for yourself where I think Jack Eichel may go through this series. Plus, you can have fun telling me 
Yeah, you're crazy. I would never give up that much for Eichel. And, uh, you can tell me in the comment section here, where do you think Eichel is going to go? Is you think he's going to stay in Buffalo? Now, he has the injury and all of that, but I'm sure that will all be taken care of and when it's done. Just tell me in the comment section here now, do you, yes, or do you, no, think Eichel is going to stay in Buffalo? And if he gets traded, where do you think he'll get traded to? Go check out my video, L.A. and New Jersey. You guys are awesome. You're of the, you are the cool kids, the ones that hang out by the bike racks. You know that? That's what you are. You are. Oh, you are. Don't even think otherwise. You are the cool kids, and I'm really happy to have you. Thank you for listening to this fine programming. I'll be doing another one tomorrow, and I'll be on my show from 3 to 5 Eastern. I'd love to see you there. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay. Bye.